This is the video you guys have all been asking me about. This is the video you guys have been begging me about. So right here it is. Our China adoption update for all of you guys wanting to know. Here it is. Stick around. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel today. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Um, we are doing okay over here. We are just, you know, recovering. Um, as you saw in my last video, our family, um, we have COVID, so that happened. We are okay, we are young, nothing really is bad. Um, it just, my husband recovered super fast. I took a couple more days longer and we're fine and we're still technically in quarantine a few more days and then we are released to the world. We are doing great though. So thank you for everyone that's been praying for us and loving us. We just love you and appreciate you. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about our China adoption. If you guys don't know me, my name is Winter Hendrickson. I have four kids, soon to be five, um, all adopted. And we adopted our first four children from the foster care system and then this time around we chose China and who knew at the beginning of this um, adoption process that there would be a pandemic that originated in China. Um, <laughs> who knew that in the beginning of these things? So um, you guys have been asking me for an update on this um, for a long time now so this is a much needed update for you guys on all things China adoption related. So here we go. So first of all, what I wanna say is um, not a ton has changed since I last updated you. I had to go back and look and it's been five months ago since I've updated you guys about China. I cannot believe it's been that long. Last you guys knew it was gonna take about six months longer. We were thinking maybe August or something like that. We could travel, um, who knew? Things were just gonna get crazy with the pandemic and things are just taking way longer than expected. Um, so, Paperwork wise, we are completely done with all paperwork. There is just a few updates. We had to update our home study again. Um, it cost about $500 actually to update it again, which is a little disappointing, but it's okay. We have to keep it updated um, while we're in process. I don't think we have to do it again if it goes to next year. I don't think so. So we're praying that it doesn't because um, we'll probably get our, our son before then. Um, and then so everything is done. So like all the paperwork is completely done. All we have to wait is for this thing called a travel approval. Um, and that would be originated in China. They'd have to just approve us for travel. Um, right now they're not even speaking about adoptions right now. There's other things they're more concerned about, obviously the pandemic. Um, so there is has there has been some things that adoptive families have been doing. We've been having meetings regularly with other adoptive families um, to discuss what we can do. We have contacted some people in the government and um, the US government is allowing us to, you know, go forward with things. Um, we're just waiting for China to say, have that go ahead as well. So it's just complicated. There's a lot of politics involved here and we are just waiting to meet our son. And we quite frankly are having a hard time the, the longer it takes um, for this to happen. Um, but we feel like God is with us. And like I said in the previous video, um, while we were waiting, we did take a foster placement in of a teenage child, a boy. Um, and that was really great. We love him. Um, and it was, it was worth it. So, you know, God has plans for us even while we're in the process of waiting. Um, and he knows how to direct us and direct our steps. Um, I remember last summer we actually took a foster placement too, but we were afraid to take it because basically once we go to China, we can't have any foster kids in our home. We have to be without placements for six months, um, according to China rules, um, after we get our son from China. So we want to honor that. We don't want to like overstep that bounds, but we also don't want to put a child in foster care, like in a different foster home because we can't keep them. So that's something that's a huge, like, um, standard for us in our foster care journey. Once a kid comes into their, our home, they're, they're like forever in our home until they go back to their home. <laughs> like we don't switch homes very often. Like it's a huge thing for us. So it's like a big no-no to make them move um, from our home to another home because of something like that. It just feels off. It feels weird. But um, I did get a update from our child. Um, 
which is really cool. I will insert um, that update here for you guys. We got some photos of him. So right here they are. Isn't he the most cutest little man on the face of the planet? So I really wanted to show you guys those photos. He's so cute, isn't he? Aw, just love him so much. Um, we can't wait to be with him. He's just, he's just great. We just love him. So, so now you guys know who to pray for. Um, that's him. Um, we're gonna name him Silas. Um, and we'll let him go by his Chinese name for as long as he would like. So we're gonna give him that option. We're gonna keep that his Chinese as a middle Chinese name as a middle name. We won't reveal that for um, just too many details. <laughs> um, but we're very excited about um, going to get him. We're still hoping and praying that we can bring the whole family. The new news is that you would likely have to quarantine in China for two weeks once you get to China um, before you can leave the hotel. So we would be there for a whole month. And I don't think I could allow my children at home to be away from us that long. Um, when we were in Thailand, it was really difficult for our younger children to be away from us. We left um, our younger two here while we took the older two as a heritage trip to Thailand because that's their country of origin. That's where they were born. And it was great for the older boys, but the younger kids suffered from that experience of being apart from us. Um, just adoption's just complicated, guys. I just, there's so many different facets to it that you just don't realize. Um, and kids have so many different needs, all of them do. So um, I just don't feel like I can be away from our kids for a whole month. That's a long time for any kid, even a healthy kid, to be away from their parents. Um, so I would really, I really hope and pray that we can bring our child. But right now there's just no like real conversations about it. There's literally no timeline as to when the borders are gonna open and we can go and get our child. So it's hard, it's hard for me to like, give an update because I'm like, there's there's no real update to give. Um, we have been talking to a travel agency about um, different things we wanna do in China, but it honestly feels like just really irrelevant because it might not happen <laughs> anytime soon. So it's just hard to know. So right now we are just saving money. Um, as you guys saw, we did a bathroom remodel that desperately needed to get done so that when our son comes from China, um, there won't be very many changes. It will just be all the same. Um, the house will just look great. No new updates. I can just focus on our son and we can just move on with our lives. I feel like we're kind of in a state of limbo where we can't um, go forward or go backwards, but I don't know. I guess pray with us, that'd be great. Pray for us, um, pray the borders are open. We love China, we love them so much. Um, we won't wanna go there, we love their culture, we love everything about them. We just we just wanna be, be there. So just pray that happens. Our son needs to come home. So, and then also that our whole family gets to go when it does finally open up. Um, when it does open up, they're gonna allow the people that have been waiting the longest to go first and then um, we can go, I heard, there is over 500 families waiting to go get their children in China, which is quite a few humans lives that are like just in limbo right now. So that's quite a big deal. So right now we're just doing the best we can, taking those steps, being a part of those support groups, like um, with other waiting families. And yeah, I feel like this update wasn't very, um, helpful. You guys see the picture of our son. Let me show it again. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> there he is. He's adorable. I love him. So, yep. Yeah, it's perfect. So, anyways, I hope you guys are having the best day ever, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, just hit the subscribe button so you can join us on this journey of getting our son from China and other fun things that we have in store. I am planning to do a mild version of version of Adoption Awareness a month for November. I already have some fun videos in mind for that and we'll see you guys then. Bye guys.